What are your goals for the season, general or personal or specifically for the team? Well, I know my personal goal is to like get my hitting better than it was last year. My goal is probably to always be the best that I can be on and off the field. Mine's similar to Kennedy's, just to improve as like a player. This is my first year playing softball, so I just want to improve like my skill level and as just a like team member. Right, as long as you're just doing something more. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know that like, you're new, but do you think that the team will function differently because they don't have a senior this year? Well, I feel like we have some really strong juniors that are good leaders, so I think we'll be fine. I don't think we really know the difference because, I mean, they've always been there to lead us. So right. They basically are the seniors to us because mm -hmm. we don't know what it's like to be led with one. And they kind of they know it pretty well. Do you think that you guys, especially since you're young players, do you think you're going to have to kind of grow up more than everybody else now? Because everybody's looking at the softball team and they know that we're pretty good, and they're looking to the younger team and seeing, younger members of the team and seeing, you know? I mean, a lot of the younger members, like me and Joss, I mean, we've played travel softball for a long time, so I think we know somewhat what we're doing, but there's other players that, yeah, are going to have to mature quickly to understand the game and know what they're doing on the field. Right, and I know you guys heard the girls earlier, but do you think you're an underdog? Or do you think that kind of, does that intimidate you to know that you're kind of in that position? No, because, I mean, I don't any I don't think anybody really expects us to have a, I mean, we'll have a decent season, but not like a great season. And I mean, we, I mean, we won our first game, but I don't know. I, they, I mean, being the underdog, yeah, but I think we'll be okay most of the season. Right. I think that some people, when they're labeled underdog, it kind of takes the pressure off of them just because it's like, oh, nobody expects anything from us, so when we come out of nowhere and sweep up and do so great, it's going to... Which is kind of what happened with our basketball team, so... Yeah, so you know what that's kind of mm -hmm. like, so you know, you kind of know that position. Yeah. Do you think that you guys have used your team on the off season well, preparing for high school, different stage? Do you think that you're ready for that? Well, like what Lexi said, like a lot of the players were in basketball, so some of them didn't get to go to the open gyms and stuff. But I know, like more than half of the team went to most of them, all the open gyms. And yeah, stuff. and those who have been playing travel softball practice and play all year round. Mm -hmm. So, so last question, guys. Uh, looking forward now, do you think? that because you're such a young and talented team, you guys, I assume that you guys will be playing for at least another year or something like that if you like it. Do you think that, what, the, do, what do you think that means for the Rochester softball program? I think we have a lot of good years to come, a lot of talent. Even, like they said, in the middle school, we still have a lot of talent from travel ball. We have a lot of potential that we've built up since the beginning of the season for our first game. So it's all kind of just about using that potential yeah. for yourself. Yeah. My goals are to get some bats like to at least like hit the ball in the outfield or do some good fielding plays. Um, my goal this season is since we don't have any seniors, the juniors have to step up and I want to be a better leader this year. I know that's actually kind of brings me to my next question. How do you think the team will function without actually having a senior leader? You know, because normally they're designated as a leader. We have three designated captains and I think that they're just going to have to step up and hopefully portray the role of a senior and I think that'll help us. And like you just mentioned, the seniors are going to have to, well the juniors are going to have to kind of play like seniors. Do you think that forces the other players, the younger players, to mature quicker? Yeah, definitely. Big yeah. time, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, I asked them earlier, did, does the stage freak you out? And they said no, no. So I think you guys have a pretty good Yeah, and we have a lot of freshmen that are playing major roles too, so. Right. Do you think that going into the season you guys are underdogs? Um, it's possible because we have, um, there's nine positions on the field and five of them are new players, so people probably overlook us. We have four freshmen that are starting in positions, so they probably don't expect much out of us. Do you think that that kind of takes the pressure off of you because nobody expects anything from you? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I feel like we'll like, since they, they'll like go easy on us and we'll just like go hard and we'll get a big advantage. And nobody will expect it, they'll be like, yeah. oh, don't prepare for them. Yeah. Just their butts. Right, right. But, uh, 
Do you guys, did you use your off-season to your advantage or disadvantage or how did you? Um, off-season is hard, especially for us because it's a spring sport and you have two sports ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So if you play a fall and a winter sport, you're focusing on your fall sport, preparing for your winter sport. So right. it's hard and it's two seasons ahead. So last question, guys. Looking to the future now, what do you think having such a young and talented team will mean for the softball program for these next couple of years? Mm -hmm. I think it'll be very, really strong, especially because those younger players are getting opportunities that other freshmen didn't get in the past years, and they'll be able to develop at a higher level well, a lot sooner. Get stronger and know more things about softball. So it's all improvement from here on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, guys. My personal goal as a freshman, since I started a, my first varsity game, my goal is just to keep that position and be able to fit in with the upperclassmen with the skill and the speed of the game. So actually like be a piece of that puzzle. Yeah. Uh, my goal is a lot like hers. Uh, I also want to get better at personal things such as batting and throwing more. Um, my primary goal is to work on uh, clean throws to cutoffs and good base running. Alrighty. How do you think the team will function this year without a senior, you know, kind of without having that designated leader? I actually think that's a good thing because next year, well, we won't be retiring anyone, so next year we'll go back with the same people with, you know, new upcoming freshmen, but we won't have any missing <coughs> aspects to the team. So right. I feel like that will make us better. Do you think the lack of, of seniors this year kind of forces the younger players to, to grow up? Yeah, and the juniors, the juniors take leadership, so right. I, they, they, I see them as seniors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe the juniors are good at leading us like the senior would have. Right. And as a junior, since there's a lot more of us, it's easier to just um, pass the responsibility between us so that way we get things done more effectively. Right, you all share it, so it's not just burdens on one person. Do you guys think that going into the season, you're kind of looked at as the underdogs? Um, I think we, like, I saw on the paper yesterday that we had a 16th, ranked 16th in the 3A, mm -hmm. and I feel like we could be a bit higher, but no, everyone likes an underdog. Right. That uh, brings me kind of to my next question. Do you feel pressure about that position, or I feel like a lot of people will say that they don't have any pressure at all because nobody's expecting anything from you. You can just go ahead and play your best, and everybody will be like, Wow, how, how did they do that? Where did they come from? Yeah, I agree. Like, if we're, if people see us as an underdog and we go out and we play like we're supposed to, then, you know, we go through the ranks and people will look at us with more respect. Right. Do you feel like you guys have used your off-season time to your benefit, to your disadvantage, or how did you use that? I think it was uh, used well because we worked on getting better at hitting and we've worked on base running and learning everything in order so that we know what to do in all situations. And with the off season they saw what you can do so then when you start season they you know already have a position picked out for you and it's easy you're learning it. So. Right. Preseason was a big help I think especially like for the freshmen <laughs> who haven't really played before and they get a chance to see kind of what the team is all about and as far as off season goes it helps because a lot of our girls play club teams so they get more experience. So you guys are exactly green starting out. Right. Last question guys. Uh, looking at the future, what with having such a young and talented team here at RHS, what do you think that will mean for the program for these kind of next couple of years? I think we'll probably have a big golden year coming up, like this, probably next year especially, because I know we have some strong eighth graders coming up, as well as the strong freshmen that we just had. So next year definitely will be one to look forward to. And this year we even have a lot of potential as well. I know the uh, juniors is also a strong part of our team because we don't have we don't have very many sophomores, but the ones that we do have they help. And our team is pretty strong this year. So next year without having any seniors leaving, it will be good. Kind of agree there. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, guys. What are your goals for the season? Our goals for the season are to win. <laughs> no, do better than last year. Make it farther and like the turn of play. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. What? Yeah. All right. Okay.
How do you think the team will function this year without having a senior, without actually having that person that you look to to lead? I don't think it'll be that much different because, I mean, we have those the juniors now that have always been kind of leaders and like second leaders and stuff. And last year, I mean, we did lose some big leaders with Kaylee and Aaron and Carly. So I mean, we're gonna have to kind of step it up, but I think we'll be all right for the most part. But I was gonna ask, like, do you think because of the lack of seniors that everybody on the team's gonna force that kind of like mature quicker than they normally would? Oh yeah, I definitely think so. With like, because we have what four new players on the field that have really never experienced the high school play, so yeah, it'll be that, a big change. With that being said, do you think that going into this, you guys feel like you're underdogs? Do you feel like you're young? Yeah, I would say so. I mean. I heard Carla talking to someone that like St. Joe has like all returning players. I think it was St. Joe. Yeah, and like North Miami and a whole bunch of. Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, yeah, I would say we were underdogs, just how young we all are. So during the off season, do you think that you used your time better for worse? Um, we used it pretty good this year with like the basketball team going so far. We like to make it as much practicing as we usually do, but it's good that the basketball team went far because <laughs> a lot of our players play. Last question, guys. Looking to the future now, what do you think having such a young and talented team will mean for the softball pro program for these next couple years? Um, I think it'll definitely, I mean, we'll still have a good team and stuff, even though there's five, six juniors that will be leaving. I mean, next year we still have. But there's definitely some good freshmen, and I know some middle schoolers that are coming in that have played travel ball and stuff. So I think it'll still be a decent program for the most part. All right. All right. Uh, my personal goals is since I'm my third baseman, uh, I'm hoping to keep that position and um, excel as much as possible and get all the basics down and just try to get as best as I can. Um, well, after our game on Monday, we had to make two goals, two personal goals, and so mine was to stay down on the ball and to keep my hands high because I didn't drop them because I like want to hit for power. So I gotta like stay focused, keep my hands up. How do you guys think that the team will function this year without any seniors? Uh, well, like the last year said that the juniors have definitely stepped up in leadership and which is really great because every team needs a leader and I think all of them have distributed it together <laughs> and so it's pretty good. Do you, do you feel pressure as like a younger player to grow up? Um, I was the first game like the first game I was so nervous but once I got on the field and like once I played with the team I just felt kind of Home. Right, so you're not intimidated by the high school stage anymore. That's good. Do you think that you guys are an underdog coming into the season? Um, I don't think so. I mean, we lost like really good players, but um, I feel like with our pitching, and then I feel like everything's going to come together at the end. So I feel like uh, you're new, but you're improving. Right, but I, I feel like we're not an, under, an underdog necessarily. Yeah. Do you feel that you've used your off-season time for better or for worse? I think we used our off-season time uh, for better because we mostly focused on fundamentals and like perfecting it, which was really good. And since we didn't spend too much time on uh, extra stuff until towards the end, we are better in just the fundamentals and being able to perfect everything. Last question, guys. Uh, looking to the future, what do you think having such a young and talented team kind of means to the RHS softball program? What What do you think the next few years are going to look like? Well, I mean, since we're all losing anyone, it's just going to be like it is last year, just with more players next year, and it's just it's just going to depend on like everyone staying healthy because we have to have healthy players mm -hmm. because we don't have a, we don't have a big bench. So it's gonna, it's just gonna be. Everybody does their part. Yeah, yeah. With the younger players coming in, and the ones that came in this year, it'll just mean that our program will be stronger for years to come. And next year would definitely be a big season for us, since it'll be the second year with most of the players playing together and not losing. Anything. Well, thank you very much for your time, guys.